Hello and welcome to this overview of Fibonacci patterns. The Fibonacci ratio was named after an Italian mathematician who published the sequence of numbers that approximated this ratio. It was later called the Golden Ratio because it appears all over nature in seashells, pine cones, the way flower petals and tree branches are arranged the list is almost without end. In 1955, George Kelly conducted some experiments in which it was shown that people do not have equally weighted positive and negative outlooks, as one would expect, but rather it is weighted about 62% positive and 38% negative, fitting with the Fibonacci ratio. One could argue that this is one of the reasons why traders seem to behave in a way that often creates certain patterns on price graphs where upswings and downswings in price match the Fibonacci ratio or some closely related der derivatives of the ratio. If you're interested to know more, there's an absolute mountain of information on the Fibonacci ratio on the internet. For this discussion, however, I will focus less on the mathematics behind it and more on the application of it in your trading. Autochartist identifies six different classes of Fibonacci patterns. The simplest two types of patterns are retracements and extensions. These both have three turning points, that is where price graphs make highs or lows. Let's look at an example. First the extension. The three points of the extension marked A, B and C form a shorter line followed by a longer line. Looking purely at the price difference between A and B and relating that to the price difference between C and B, if these two are in Fibonacci proportion, then we classify it as an extension. Retracements are the same, except that we mark the points as B, C and D, and they have the large price difference first, followed by the smaller price difference. The expectation that follows is that the price could find support at one of the illustrated Fibonacci levels. If this had been a bullish pattern, the expectation would be that resistance will be encountered at the Fibonacci levels. The crux of this kind of analysis is that Fibonacci levels give us a potential preview of where we may encounter support or resistance after the latest turnaround in price. Now the Fibonacci patterns can become longer and more intricate. If we have a retracement followed by an extension, it effectively forms a four-point pattern known as an ABCD pattern. The more points the patterns have, the more significant they become. But the expectations are always the same. We expect to find support or resistance at one of the next set of Fibonacci ratios on the price scale. There are also five-point Fibonacci patterns. The Gartley pattern is an ABCD that is preceded by a point marked as X which is in a Fibonacci ratio to the whole of the ABCD. The butterfly got its name because it looks like two connected triangles, the wings of a butterfly. It also contains an ABCD pattern, but the important ratios are XAAD as well as ABBC. It is worth mentioning that we have emerging Fibonacci patterns just as we have emerging chart patterns and there is a separate video in our education section that will elaborate more on the topic but in effect every retracement is an emerging ABCD pattern and many emerging ABCD patterns can also be emerging Gartley or butterfly patterns that is because the higher order Fibonacci patterns are constructed out of smaller patterns every five point pattern contains a four point ABCD and every ABCD contains a retracement and an extension with emerging Fibonacci patterns, we illustrate a pink dot. This is the sentence you have to play in your head when you're looking at an emerging Fibonacci pattern. If the price reaches the level of the pink dot and it turns around at that level, then expect support resistance at one of the illustrated Fibonacci levels. So there are quite a lot of conditions that have to be met for an emerging Fibonacci pattern to complete. As you can imagine, it never happens that a pure Fibonacci ratio is encountered due to the discrete nature of prices. So in our calculations, we have a very small error margin that we look at. 
and when the price ratio falls within this margin, close enough to the true Fibonacci ratio, we approve it as a Fib ratio. The degree to which we fall within the margin is indicated by the price symmetry quality indicator. You can learn more about these quality indicators in the video called Quality Indicators. There's a whole lot more to trading than simply following up green arrows or red down arrows. The aim of AutoChartist is not to be an easy trading system, but if you understand what the patterns mean, then it is going to save you an incredible amount of time and make you many times more productive in your trading efforts. Use these trading opportunities together with your own wisdom and intuition and use other market opinions and analysis types to form smart and well thought through trading strategies. Watch the other educational videos in this series if you're interested and contact us anytime if you need our help on support at autocharters.com. We're always happy to hear from you. Best of luck with your trading and thanks for watching this video.